turned on the camera, so I guess I'm going to do a response. So I'm halfway through this, whatever, I don't know what he wants to be called. The, the white, a white, a white, a white whiter. Uh, let's make the white people whiter ist. Um, you know, he's a separationalist, or whatever you want to call it, whatever. He thinks we're better off going back to our original breeds of some kind. Um, but aesthetics, let's just go with the aesthetics, though. We can tell what a piece of per person is based on what their skin color is, because that's the important thing. So, yeah. Um, because we're too stupid to do better than that, because we're so smart. Whitey is so smart that he's too stupid to figure out that skin color doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, it all doesn't go anywhere. Anyway, but he just, you know, just like all these guys, oh, well, you know, they've proven, <laughs> you know, they this survey says, uh, statistics, blah, 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 bell curve. Um, you know, it's just all such a pile of crap. Uh, you know, you got to look at this thing in overview, okay? We know the human race came from Africa, all right? That's the original stock, so to speak. Um, and we can see it in other animals, bonobos and chimpanzees. Okay, different color skin, different size. Um, you could argue they might have different capacities, attributes, um, uh, orangutans versus chimpanzees or something. So, look, they live different. They have different habits. Therefore, they have different strengths and weaknesses. Gorillas, you know. So, yeah, we're going back to some sort of Planet of the Apes thing, and we're going to say, where do we really need our... our Let's turn it to a class system, you know, and have everybody do their certain duties because they're suited to them, okay? So if you're over six feet tall, you do this kind of work, and if you're under six feet tall, you do that kind of work, and it's just all kind of, this is the intelligent way to live. Oh, sorry, fail. Um, so you could just argue that, look, the whole last 40,000 years of human history has been a breeding experiment, selective breeding. Okay, so when certain humans went in certain directions, they selectively were bred. And then when you go to the last 10,000 years, you know, they were selectively bred by environment. Okay, coastal versus inland versus plains versus mountains. So, yeah, we changed. Um, and then there was the second coming. You know, there was the first coming into Europe, um, and the, the new version killed the old version. Okay. Cro-Magnon got wiped out by, you know, Whitey, <laughs> and, uh, you know, that was Whitey's first big success, um, and uh, then as, as the, the Indians went around and came across the bridge to North America, um, you know, they started getting dark again, <laughs> you know, and so Whitey had to come over and wipe them out again, because, oh, you're getting dark again, you can't do that, um, kind of bullshit, but look, look, it's just a selective breeding program, right? And then, and then when you take the last 10,000 years, what was the selective breeding for? Okay, it was basically, if you had the might, you were right. Okay, and so if you, if you added up all the intellectuals, Alexander, for example, Alexandria, lots of places, you know, even the ancient Greeks, um, the intellectuals were annihilated, okay, by the barbarian whites, um, who came in and just wiped people out. All right, and that went on for thousands of years of human history. Basically, the best and the brightest of entire civilizations were destroyed. Obviously. You know, that's the way it works when you're going to destroy people. You don't kill the whores and the sluts and the prostitutes. You know, you kill the men um, and the good men, okay, the valuable men. Um, and, and, you know, so, you know, we, we, you could just look at the North American Indians and say, you know, could you judge them based on what was left? The runaways, the hiders, the, you know, the weak. Uh, the ones too weak for us to feel we needed to throw a, a spear or a, a bullet into them, right? And what did we kill? We killed the best and the brightest and the strongest and the proudest um, of that race. So we selectively bred them. Um, you, you can't you can't deny that we didn't change their stock. Um, and then we imported slaves. What was it? Was it, it? You know, there's 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 tends to be strengths and weaknesses in people in the sense that you usually get an attribute and you sacrifice something for it. Uh, for Einstein to be a smart guy, he often pissed his pants. 
Okay, <laughs> he had obvious deficiencies in his social graces. Um, and it's often like that. It's sort of an idiot servant thing. Um, to have one thing, you lose something else. So I'm thinking most idiot servants are basically all you're saying is, is instead of having any of this other cognitive part of their brain working, they have one thing that's overworking, one thing that's taken over, like their visual centers are the logic centers for mathematics or some other thing, and so their, their acuity <laughs> is at a cost. Um, and so you could certainly say that for, you know, when, you know, if you're going to sit there and capture people in another country, um, likely the strongest and the smartest might, might not go willingly. They might be too tricky to handle. And so those will be the ones you'll kill. And uh, so you're already doing some selection. Then you, they're going to transport them across the ocean in horrible conditions, which is also going to do some more selection. Anybody with um, any kind of sensibilities or grace, any, anybody who drinks their tea with their pinky out, probably isn't going to survive uh, you know, a month in the, the bottom of a boat full of sewage. Um, so yeah, you selectively more selection, and then you get them here and you select them some more. Um, for the very function of their job, okay, the big, dumb, stupid ones you breed because, yeah, that's that's to your advantage, you know, passivity, all these kind of things are going to be bred in. So, so don't play this game, okay? You, you're, are, you, what's your argument that if I took the the top 1,000 people from every genetic strain we could find, okay? Let's go with the, you know, all the South American tribes and let's go with the Indian tribe. Let's find everybody who's got any kind of old blood, okay, and, and less diluted blood. And let's take the, the thousand best samples of that, those individuals and have breeding programs. Are you gonna argue to me that I can't breed Einstein black or something? I mean, this is just so stupid an argument. Um, it's your heritage. You, you know, it's going to be easier to do going back to the original. You want to make a new breed of dog, the way to do it is go back to the original. But you'll have more, more resources. And co quite obviously, you already know where you can go. You, you know, because you've seen it. You've already seen the examples of where you can get. And if you want to go somewhere else, you know where to veer off and go in another direction off that, off that uh, attribute. You know, whether it be size or curly hair or poodleism and, you know, you know, lots of things you can get out of a dog, right? So you can go anywhere and do anything. And so that's all you're really advocating for is this, this whole, let's just uh, master ourselves into something else. Let's transform the, the human into something and then you'll be satisfied that you're, you're now the right animal or something because you don't like the skin you're in. It almost seems like your pride is, is, is for things that have nothing to do with you, which is, you know, kind of laughable. I mean, I, I mean, shouldn't pride come with accomplishment, not, um, you know, just, just riding on, on, a, on a, a functionality that is, is obviously built on a, a, a ton of horror? I'm not proud of my lineage. In the sense, I'm not proud that there are a bunch of animal killers and rapists, for fuck's sake. You know, they go out and conquer people with their big club. I'm supposed to be proud of that? Oh, they were smarter than the other people and engineered their destruction. Oh, gee, how proud am I? Oh, sorry, they weren't smart enough to be decent? I mean, the, the Spaniards could show up in their fancy dress, their fancy armor, their fancy horses, and they weren't smart enough to figure out, wow, stealing sucks? <laughs> you know, they were fucking thieves, for Christ's sakes. Whitey, smart little whitey uh, thieves. Uh, you know, and you think that means something. Oh, yeah, well, they were 10% more intelligent on problem-solving quizzes. Gee, well, obviously they weren't 10% more intelligent on, on ethics. They couldn't solve an ethical question. If you put one of those on the goddamn test, they would have failed. <sighs> so, you know, I mean, it's just such a, a, a go-nowhere argument. We we live in this world with this circumstance, and idiocracy is everywhere. So again, you complain about welfare. I mean, and he makes these idiotic arguments like we already paid for uh, slavery with welfare checks, which is just hilarious. Uh, you know, first off, you're never going to be able to pay the bill for slavery because the amount of work that was driven out of people was 
just colossal. I mean, they flattened America. They, they made it fertile. So, you know, dream on, uh, butthead. Um, but, you know, not to account for the legacy wealth of that. You know, like because buildings in New York cost $53 in, uh, you know, 1758. <laughs> you know, um, that we'll give them back $47. We'll give them the original price and say we paid our bill. Uh, you know, fuck you. Let's pay rent. Let's pay 19, 1724 rent. You know, um, just stupid arguments. Um, but anyway, this whole welfare thing is a problem for every race. So, 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 you know, when you make your little white utopia, are you going to take the welfare sluts with you, the the white trash that's all over the place, and and it's there, okay? I mean, there's no doubt that I could put a collection of, I could go find a thousand people right now with really white skin and give them IQ tests and have them score a 75 average, no problem. It's quite doable. Um, so so let's not pretend that this this really means anything. And again, it's it's so frickin' arbitrary. You could change the standard at any time, just change the selection process. Um, and that's all you really want to do, right? Is you want to create some utopia where there is no welfare, but you'll what are you still gonna steal labor from other countries? You're gonna let them come in as day workers or something? Uh, because they deserve it. Um I'm just saying, if I took the best of, of the black race right now, and you took the best of the white race, a thousand, and we put them on two islands, okay, and then uh, we actually pointed out that you're going to have to create policy, okay, because you're going to have a contest. In 200 years, we're going to come back, and whoever's doing better, we're going to give, we're going to let live, and whoever's doing worse, we're going to kill. And do you really think it's a, some kind of guarantee that you're going to win that competition? Do you? You think your little whitiness is going to be just so powerful that you're going to be able to win? <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, blacks can become Nazis. They can become master racers. They could sit there and, and implement laws saying, no, you whores can't be doing any of that uh, you know, sleeping with a guy because he looks cool. Now you're going to have to, you know, breed with purpose because our lives, our future life depends on it. So yeah, they would maybe then they'd be motivated to watch babies die and they'd, they'd kill the little bad puppies. Right, a little bad defective puppy pops out and they would stick a knife in it. Um, you know, the Polynesians did a lot of this selective breeding thing and, you know, it worked to an extent. Um, but is that what you want to do? You want to create a world where we... We knife babies, <laughs> you know. Isn't that already the definition of failure? Isn't even the fact that you would have to tell people who to love make it a game not worth playing? I mean, isn't that essentially saying we're going to accept torture as a as a strategy in warfare? And then haven't you already lost the war because you've thrown away some a value so valuable, so precious? that there's just no longer a purpose in your existence. You've failed. You, you've broken something fundamental. And you're saying you have a solution to welfare. Well, let me hear your fucking solution. All right, you assholes keep talking about it like everybody's for it because they just love the idea of ignorant, dumb sluts having too many kids. I don't think anybody except ignorant, dumb sluts likes the idea of society, like every worker in this country, if you asked him the question, I don't think he's going to say, yeah, I want to pay dumb sluts to have babies. I don't think that's going to be their answer. But I think they will say to you, they don't want fucking babies being raised in cardboard boxes on the goddamn street. So until you have a solution that's somehow practical, where we don't have to actually stick knives and spears into fucking babies in the hospital, um you know, then sh fuck the shut up, okay? Because your white race is being destroyed by that welfare just as fast as any other race now, okay? In the past, uh, you know, whites had a cushion because they were proportionately less likely to be in poverty. But now that we've given the world to the rich, we've let the rich inherit the fucking world, the white rich have now inherited the fucking planet Earth because of assholes like you. One, two, three percent of the people in this world own 82% of this world because of fuckheads like you. 
All right, now most most white people are going to be in poverty, and they're going to they're going to breed just like the 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 ignorant uh, Afghani's. They're going to have their five or six kids living in shit and being raised in shit by shit heads. And yeah, that's not exactly a great um, um, a, a great selection process for your your racial future, your genetic future. Um, but again, who wants to play the genetics game? You think you can play it? You think you can play a good master race building game? You really think that's possible? You really think it's practical to say, yes, let's engineer the human genome? Because I don't think you can do it pragmatically, okay? Just as a practical matter, it opens doors and opens um, opportunities <laughs> Uh, for discrimination and prejudice that are just so fucking that you, you'll never get that badger, you know, back into the birdcage or whatever. It's just that's you just that's the meltdown scenario. You'll just melt down as a civilization. Um, in my opinion, you have no hope of of implementing that kind of control over people without giving up something really, really valuable. So you'll have you have no chance. So, but whatever. All this bullshit. Like I said, you want you want to do this thing. Go ahead and do it. But again, you want to do it by your rules. You want to take your ownership with you. You don't want to do this fair fight thing. Like I said, like you know, island. Uh, you know, like I said, put them on an island and separate them from what you've already done to them. Again, you can't undo um, what you genetically, what Whitey genetically did to the North American Indian tribes. You can't undo what Whitey did to the Africans that uh, were imported to America. We did do something to them physically. We changed and altered them through our abuse of them. <laughs> and you're just, uh, you, you know, to take no responsibility for that. To blame them for your interference is rather preposterous. You know. And, and you know, and your whole attitude, like like, you know, there's a... You know, you could almost. What, what are you going to say about Whitey? I mean, Whitey's being. You know, in Russia, Whitey is losing to Whitey, right? So the whites in Russia who are failures now because they don't own the country anymore to give it away to the twelve families. All right, are all, all those Whiteys genetically inferior? Is that your argument? That's because they're genetically inferior. They failed. Um, and uh, do you measure countries like? Uh, you know, you know, you somehow can prognosticate what the Incas would have been or the Mayas would have been, the would have been if we gave them another 300, just another 300 years. Yeah, and you presume to know what they would have been. We already know what happened with Egypt. We know what happened with other great civilizations that were destroyed. So, I mean, what, what's your, you know... What's what's what? What are you you know what what how 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 a logical a premise are you uh, thinking I'm going to accept? You know that that somehow this is all like somehow whiteness equates to goodness and smartness and greatness because whiteness got there first. That means something because it had um, a, a little more opportunity at the very beginning. It's like a race, right? You, you, why, don't, why do we bother having a three-mile horse race? Why, why not just have it 50 feet? Whoever wins the first 50 feet, okay, that's the good horse. Let, let's or make, make it a half mile. Okay, you, and you don't understand how you completely change the dynamic by changing the rules of your standards for what makes something great or deserving or earned it? Sorry, no sale. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, anyway, you know, the whole, yeah, I mean, you could just go through all the different, um, scenarios of, of, you know, civilizations and their maturation and their own, and, and again, there certainly can be policies within its civilizations that are just completely detrimental to their own, like, like say the North American tribes essentially were killing their best braves all the time because they would go on assassination raids. And they did they'd kill the best of the other tribes. And so in a sense, just because of that way of maintaining their own integrity, you know, maintaining their separation, the thing you love so much, 
uh, because they live for their family and their tribe and their um, clan, um, they paid a huge price for that in terms of damaging their own genetic history, you know, their, their, their genetic future, let's say. Um, there was a high cost to that. And the reason why they would have eventually been wiped out by the Mayans or the Incans or the Aztecs is for that very reason. It's because creating that bigger civilization, um, they didn't have the same attrition. They didn't kill the best and the brightest. But then the Aztecs and the Incas might have failed eventually, like Rome, because the only people breeding are the dumbest and the stupidest. And you see, it just it, it, there, there, there's, a, there's a mechanism here that unless you actually take control of it with policy and oblige people to breed your race um, your race won't be perfected it will mutt um, and that's just that's just a fact of life and again you want to create your your uber doberman or something um, that's your prerogative but I see no value in it because you, you'll you'll like I said inevitably compromise so much of the character of life to do that um, that you're, you'll have the definition of failure anyway. And again, I don't. I'm not a big advocate for. Any, I mean, I don't. I don't think much of the entire human species, um, uh, let alone this notion of of high intelligence. When I think the facts are infinitely consumable with moderate anything with a moderate intelligence, anything that can get over that, you know. 90 IQ thing or 80 IQ thing can handle um, the, the little bit of, of logic math you have to do to uh, rationally dissect our, our function and realize that we're just flatworms who can tie ribbons on presents, you know, that they're using to scheme friendship with. <laughs> you know, that, you know, we, we're just schemers. We're, we're flatworms with a little scheming brain, a little little fancier sense um, perception. You know, we're, we're, you know, we're like the human with the, 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 you know, night vision goggles on. We have, a, we have some, some added add-ons that give us a little bit more um, capacity, but inside we're still just a flatworm. We're still just a taker, a consumer. And, you know, that's another thing, these guys, you know, these, these men talk like, Oh, well, women are attractive, therefore I must have children. Huh? I, I mean, they just, they don't even acknowledge the fact that having kids has nothing for a, somebody with a little bit of brains. It doesn't take much brains to figure out how to slide that condom on. I mean, is that an IQ test right there? I, I mean, I, I just don't, you know, you're talking about how you're, you're got a master race here and somehow you can't figure out how not to have a baby. You can't stop a sperm from, from penetrating an egg and creating a, 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 a fetus. You can't handle that. And you're going to tell me that you're the master race? Sorry. So anyway, let's play some of this slot, but it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm only halfway through the three, well, two hours and 44 minutes. And, um, you know, I kind of want to get to the inheritance thing because I'm sure he's going to just fuck that all to hell. But he's such a hypocrite. I mean, he talks about, you know, uh, words I put in his mouth, no direct quotes. Um, and, uh, you know, he plays my video in the same style that I play other people's videos, and yet he complains about how I do it and thinks he's doing it right, which is just laughable. Um... I mean, you know, you know, but because he talks, well, I'm just being a nice guy, and I don't have any, you know, because he's dispassionate, I'm supposed to say he's the fair guy? No, sorry. Full of absolute shit. So let's play some of it. Thomas Dale, but he, he, he apparently did that. And, um, yeah, so technically, American whites have already paid, paid back what they owed. Um... Yeah, so that's his, you know, one of his theories produced by one of his white racist friends, obviously. Uh, this theory that, oh, the bill has already been paid because black people were poor because we didn't educate them. And then we just said, okay, you're free, slaves. Uh, yeah, too bad that you all don't have any education or schools or societies or cities or anything. So, yeah, you can just live off our garbage now. 
Um, and uh, because the, we gave them some, we, we grew up a little bit and took a little bit of responsibility and started paying welfare checks, that somehow, somehow in welfare checks we've paid for slavery. Just an amazing pile of shit. So somebody could abuse, you know, it's, it's like saying you could abuse one Indian tribe and because you gave a ton of money to some other Indian tribe, that somehow you paid back the ones over here that you, you slaughtered or something. <clears throat> I mean, you know, are, are, are responsible, work, hard-working blacks supposed to feel good because you think you paid them back for the harder work they had? Like a doctor in, in 1940, you don't, you know, the impossible, almost impossible task of him getting there, you think you paid him back? for how hard it was for him to get somewhere um, by giving a welfare check to a slut? I mean, come on. It's just that blacks haven't spent it very well. Yeah, well, you gave it to the wrong blacks, obviously. You think white people on welfare are spending it very well? I, you know, again, you sit on your legacy wealth. You sit on your plantation money and you point your fucking finger. I mean, there's nothing is, there's no, you just can't get more weasel than this. Um, so, I, I'm not really sure what to say. I could tell you this, though, if whites did have their own nation. Yeah, well, well let's have, let's just reverse the scenario. Instead of taking the best of each, let's take the average white welfare recipient and the average black welfare recipient. Let's take a thousand of each one of those and put those on island asshole. All right, and let's see which one drives themselves into the toilet quicker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I bet you Whitey loses again. Um, like a, a nation that we has autonomy and sovereignty and we recognize that it is a white nation and people can voluntarily and freely uh, voluntarily move there if they want to, if they want to be part of that nation. I wouldn't oppose if it kept you guys off our backs to uh, align myself with, with non-whites and, and give them a, a little bit of money. It's just so arrogant. I'll give them some money like he earned it. Like this asshole earned some money sometime. Yeah, I doubt that. I really do doubt that. The what is the limit? Like, how much? When? When does it end? Um, but I, but I want to stress that I'm not opposed to paying uh, more money. <clears throat> well, whatever. It's not about paying money. It's about regaining um, pride and respect and lots of more complex things. That's what civilization is made out of. All right, it's, it's structural. You, you got to understand that too. Okay, culture doesn't. You're, you're not going to change a culture in five minutes, or with one law. All right, and the fact that you've we Whitey has built bad cultures in the world. Whose fault is that? It was Whitey's experiment. Whitey was the one doing the imposing, so it's kind of Whitey's fault. All right, it, it, it was Whitey was playing, doing the husbandry thing, and he husbandried okay, these people out of a culture. And so if their culture sucks, it's not because uh, they suck, it's because Whitey sucks. Um, but I mean, it obviously have to be under a, a longer period, uh, say maybe 50 years or something, maybe even more, 100 years, but, uh, but yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be above that. Yeah, well, again, it's not about, it's, it, it means nothing, okay? Your handouts don't mean anything, all right? Because that's not what creates civilization. So unless you want to you wanna build them, okay, a structure, all right, and then say, okay, I'll let them ruin it. I mean, isn't that another argument I could make? I mean, I could, I could give somebody, you can give different kids, right? You give different kids toys, and one kid, smashy, smashy, break, break, and some other kid just puts it on the shelf and looks at it, doesn't even touch it, because he doesn't want to break it. I mean, yeah, there's, there's different psychologies, and these psychologies are built by cultures. And if you don't understand that, you're really stupid. So you have to change the culture before your money will do any good. 
and, and that's despite that I don't think it's entirely justified. Well, and I just mean that the only way that culture changes is that you have to give them the same, you have to give them the same kind of, of, of status as human first kind of thing. You know, that it's, it's very difficult living as a minority, I would imagine, in a country. I mean, to be, you know, only 10%, to be some kind of not regular version of something, especially to grow up like the not regular version, you know, the competing version or something. And so until you people are given the sense that they are invested in the civilization like everybody else and that they aren't some 10% of something that people hate or people dislike or people degrade. I mean, again, the, the, you know, you, you just can't, you can't pretend that the psychic games being played here are of no consequence. They're of huge consequence on behavior. If, if people don't feel part of the tribe, don't be surprised that they act anti-tribe. So that's it. You just don't want to pay your bills, <laughs> frankly. Well, that's, that's bullshit, because I just said the opposite. So. Yeah, you didn't say shit. You didn't demonstrate shit. You made a lot of nothing. Pro I'll pay for it with their money. Or something like that. <laughs> you didn't promise. You didn't do. You didn't. There's nothing. It's just empty words. Nothing. You're, and you go, you've claimed that you've already undone the, the, the harm. You've already, yeah, well, hundreds of years of slavery. Well, yeah, here's your check for. Uh, what, what, what did they buy Manhattan for? If, uh, $40 worth of trinkets? Okay, well, here's your $40. All paid up. Even Steven. No problem. This is an example of how you put words in my mouth, but it's... And, and it's a ridiculous example. I, I didn't put any words in your mouth. I'm claiming you're a dumb, ignorant fuckhead. Okay, to think that you've paid the bill, you stupid ass. Or that you would pay it. Hey, let's be fair to each other here. That 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 is not, that's not accurate. That's not honest, and it's not nice. Um, and even if they were paid, even if there was a, even if we could say it didn't matter anymore, um, which I don't think we can say even with women. Um, so what is that supposed to mean? We were. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. What, we, we treated women different than men? <laughs> different than they deserved? Oh, Perpetually going to be uh, a scapegoated, uh, hated people? Or uh, a scapegoated. So you were scapegoated by the idea of, of um, you know, women being um, property of men? That's scapegoating to say that, um, you know, that was another example of the high intelligence of whitey <laughs> yeah sorry hell or why why you know, if we took it all away and said okay well we'll give you what you want pussy you don't want a fair fight you want to cheat um it doesn't matter because you're going to drive it all into the toilet eventually anyway because your 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 attitude and your approach is caustic and toxic why? What, a, what in my approach and what I've said? <sighs> because you're obsessing about something that doesn't matter and you can't make it matter. If you make it matter, you're just going to create reasons for human beings to kill each other. And you want to make more distinctions and more hostility than, okay, go ahead. I'm just saying that it, you might as well do the melting thing, okay? You might as well mold it all together into, into a mudocracy. And, and you're much better off. I'm, like I said, I'm not advocating for, um, you know, maintaining a system where we pay stupid people to do stupid things. But, you know, who's got the solution to that problem? I mean, who's got a solution that we're capable of paying for? We can't pay for solutions if we're going to give all our money to a bunch of inheritance whores. You've got to figure that part out. It has been costly and toxic. Um, what have I? I mean, just imagine if we if we just if the top three percent again, we just knock them down to a nice hundred thousand dollar a year living, 
and took all the extra money to pay stupid people not to have babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if. You know, to get uh, vasectomies and uh, tubal ligations. Everything you have to go on is what I have said, right? What I have said. What that I have said is toxic. Well, again, you can't figure out how it's toxic to create divisions in the human race. You can't see how there was a toxicity to, like, Planet of the Apes, that the gorillas and the orangutans and the, and the chimpanzees living different lives, separate lives, would inevitably lead to conflict between them. Very much like to know that. And if people thought like me, what would be the problem, really? Because we would be fine, obviously, with paying, despite that we don't necessarily think that we are for it. We're nonviolent. We're for free association and voluntary movements of people. Yeah, well, whatever. I, you know, we, we. You're just saying we. We, who is you? Who? I, I can read you lots of stuff from people who claim to are plenty violent, it seems. We're not going to take it. We're going to do something about it. We're blah, 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 blah. We're blah, blah, blah. I mean, lots of threats. Uh, made by people talking your talk. So who's this we? Are you are you a part of some, um, you know, the the passive peaceful separatist movement or something? What, what's what's the the we? And again, how are you, how, are are you weirs going to allow the the welfare sluts into your country, the whitey welfare sluts? Um, we want to separate, but at the same time, uh, we're willing to give up lands. And we're willing to uh, join your fairness system if it ever. Join, join. Well, I don't, like I said, <laughs> you know, you, you can't join it without principle, okay? And your principles suck. You think whiteness has something to do with the character of a human being. And you think that somehow only whiteness is the road to it, which is just idiotic. Or to come about. Um and to cooperate and, and ally ourselves with other humans. Uh, we honestly feel empathy and, and sympathy for uh, other sentient creatures and, and, and other humans. Yeah, well, none of that is obvious either. So you sound like a bunch of, look, th where does this stuff come from? Oh, yeah, that's right. It comes from the very bubbas, the very retards that are the shame of the human race and the shame of the white race. You don't think most white people are rather ashamed of the pumpkin heads with their fucking AK-47s running around going, whitey, 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 whitey. You don't think that's a fucking embarrassment to the average American? I got 17 kids besides going to repopulate the America with my kindy. I mean, <laughs> they might as well be exactly what they hate. Exact, they are exactly what they hate. Groups. So, um, and, and we would still engage in, in trade and, and tourism and, and, and... Oh, whatever. You know, like I said, why would I want to trade with fucking bigots? Why would I want to tourize with bigots? Why would I want to go to Bubbaville to hear Bubbaville talk about how brilliant they are, how they're going to cure cancer, we're going to do all kinds of good stuff. I got some pot on the stove with some squirrels in it, and I was going to make a cure for cancer. Right after Luwander has her 17th bubby. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. I mean, I'm out of battery life, so we'll just cut it for there for now. But, you know, guys, you know, guys are retarded. People are retarded. Ugh. But like I said, if I had the power to give you Texas, I'd be glad to do it, to tell you the truth. Just for the fun of it. We put a big, giant wall around it. We'll just see what you can accomplish. We'll give you a big, nice little pile of oil and see if you can do anything with it. No exploitation allowed, though. You got to do it <laughs> yourself. You actually have to do the work. Ah, ha, ha.